Thank God it's Friday. How you doing? What's up? What's up? What's going on now? I mean, from Monday up to Friday, you've been hustling, 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 hustling. Why don't you take it easy this Friday? My Fridays are always lit because I get to do the show. I get to give you the gossip. I get to give you the rumors. I get to give you the facts. You know, you know, we'll be giving you hot, hot, hot. <laughs> So it's talking trends with me, your girl in Kiruka Ive, and then we'll have a whole lot to tell you this Friday. So, but chill, we'll be right back. Nigeria is set to start the manufacturing of airplanes. Yes. Drum rolls. <laughs> Do you understand? So this is according to the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika. He said Nigeria will start the production of airplanes before President Muhammad Dubari leaves office in 2023. Few, um, how many months to 2023? So maybe by 2023, they would have brought out one airplane made in Nigeria. You understand? Hmm. Let me just share, take some of the um, comments. Another banger. <laughs> Another one says, for a country that imports toothpick and matches, it is well. Are you serious? Do we import matches in this country? to speak no now uh -uh. how can you say that when we've, we've gone past we've gone past all that now we produce everything we eat in nigeria everything we consume is produced in nigeria don't you is it okay all right though another one says ordinary air force planes you people cannot maintain you want to manufacture a whole plane for who <laughs> This one says, never trust anything Nigeria says. They said they will start manufacturing pencils and rulers in Enugu. We, we have not seen anything yet. Really? Okay. Oh. Another story I have here is, let me read the caption. It says, Kama has caught up with Uche Maduago as actor Jim Ike tracks him down. The sharp-mouthed actor days after the latter called him a ritualist. I was watching that video. I was like, ah, ah. the guy was even like, how did you know I'm here? <laughs> That's the funniest part of it. When Jim I, you know, accosted him, I was like, so you were talking, you were trolling me on social media. And the guy was like, ah, ah. How did you know I'm here? Your mother, I'm going to walk in and wear ritualist online. Jim I, can you get Jim I, can you get a ritualist? I'm my house. I work at my ritualist. I'm going to be in your house now. I'm going to be in your house now. I'm going to be in your house now. So, okay, now let's make take a backtrack and then listen to what this guy said about Jim Ike. Every time, Jim Ike, you know, no reason that they do to make their money. Do you know what they do? Say, we now they don't catch uh, us, puppy, they don't catch them now. They will catch others. Just wait, especially that G Mike. I won't make them catch him. Small thing, he will disappear. You know what? We'll see him. Before you know, he don't come back. Money full every year. What is he doing? What are you doing for a living? Eh? I'm sure that G Mike is a ritualist. If, you are, if he's not a ritualist, where does he get money? He go buy a motor. Go and look at the car he's driving. Go and look at it. the expensive. How much? Where is he making it? Me, see me, I make my money uh, legally. No, I hear say Jimmy no fear enter America. Why? Because you don't go do people why you why you. Let me I'm I'm praying they will catch you very soon. Tell us where you where how you make your money. Come and tell us. You saw what he said, or you rather you heard what he said, right? This is a lesson now. Jim I has thought. <laughs> All right, let me take some of the comments. Someone says, Dear Jim Ike, hope you didn't hurt yourself. Hope you didn't hurt your sweet hands. The way Jim, the way Jim to the way Jim took down those holding him, Sha. Hmm. This one says, this is so wrong. Come on now. Why are these guys holding Jim? <laughs> I thought he was even supporting the Uche. Another person says, my guy say, now how did you find me? Well, lay it is that part for me. How did you find me? <laughs> Make sure your strength matches your loud mouth. You know, because he ran away. Hey, <laughs> when the punch was coming, he took off. <laughs> all right all right let's take another story this one now is a story about a lasma officer he went to climb on top a moving truck and you know those guys that drive those trucks their heads are not here they are seeing you but they are not seeing you have you ever met them in traffic before they will even shove you aside and pass and that is what a lasma officer climbed on top of this guy's car 
Is it what they send you? Look at last man a wow. Last man a wow. Last man a wow. Hey, Jesus. Jesus. I mean, why do they always want to hurt themselves like that? Well, let me take some of the comments. Someone says, Dominic Torrento, no do pass like this. <laughs> This one says he's obviously a retired conductor. <laughs> Another one says all this James Bond rule because of 200 naira. Avi. This one says God forgive me for laughing. Yes, we're not supposed to laugh because it's serious. <laughs> so right about now, let's take a commercial break, and when we return, the program will continue. Just stay tuned. Come up, come up. Welcome to Oxford Hill Estate, located at the hilltop of Ikola Alagbado. It features a dry level ground with a global sea of all, with few plots left, selling fast at 5 million naira. Oh yes, just 5 million naira, the promo which ends on the 31st of August. Guess what? It is 5 kilometers away from Egbeda, 15 kilometers away from the Maritala Mohammed International Airport, and just a kilometer away from a passenger farm. Oxford Hill Estate is fully equipped with all necessary amenities, fully secured and with an instant allocation. For more information on how you can key into this beauty, log on to www.oxfordgroupafrica.com. You can also call our 24 hours customer care on 01-906-5600. Terms and conditions apply. Connect, partner and let's build you a beautiful future. You're welcome back once again. Yes, so Oxford International Group is giving you the opportunity to own a landed property in one of our prime estates right here in Alagbado Ikola Legal State. It's a prime estate. So if you've not keyed in, key in now. It's just five million naira and you own you become a landlord or a landlady. How about that? All right, so I have another story here. The Kano State Hizba Board has ducked. Uh, Kani Wood actress and social media blogger Sadia Haruna for uploading sexual content on her social media handles. She was alleged to have consistently posted indecent videos in which she was dancing seductively and making sexual comments on her social media handles and YouTube channel. The accused person pleaded guilty to a one count charge of obscenity and indecent acts which contradict section 355 of penal code law 2000 the presiding judge justice ali jibri the zaki thereafter convicted her and ordered her to be attending a dara hadid islamia session at tundi yola quarters for a period of six months as a sentencing for her offense someone says but they did not arrest the people singing komino okay another one says their law in the north is for the poor the rich people do worse and get away with it uh this one says this is bad people shall they need to arrest all those people that were singing nara mali's coming hashtag coming song at uh president muhammad Buhari's son's wedding no be the same kind of them then for duam why the law no they affect all of them another one says but wait can't adults do what they want again as long as they are not hurting anyone you're not hurting anyone you put out sexual content on social media people see it and you say you're not hurting anyone but i don't have an opinion remember before they say one girl said no but morally speaking it's not right but then again they're not talking about referring to president muhammad Ubari's son's wedding we also have the video of the wedding right and then i don't know what the correlation is now okay but let's even see this video because a lot of people have been talking about it they even said they gave out iphones they gave out ipads but then again it is the president of the federal republic of nigeria his son getting married what should they give out plastic packers <laughs>
So we've seen the coronation now. They said people were singing Naramalis, I'm coming in the wedding of President Muhammad Buhari's son. And then they are now arresting someone who sent out sexual content on social media. So who should, I, who should they arrest? Don't know. I don't know. This will tire myself. <laughs> so let me take another story. So this pastor now, his name is Pastor Obie Iwuchuku. He has come out to share a revelation that the Lord gave to him that Big Brother Niger should shut down within seven days. All the people in the house and the organizers of Big Brother Niger, they are going to face the wrath of the Lord. The Lord began to speak to me and he gave me certain instructions. One of the instructions the Lord gave me is that I should talk to the Big Brother Niger organizers, the organizers of the Big Brother Niger, the Lord said I should tell you that you have seven days to close Big Brother Niger. If you do not close Big Brother Niger in seven days, after seven days, the judgment of God will come upon you. And then everybody in the house, Big Brother Niger house, the angel of death is going to be visiting you one week after this so i'm now wondering those of us who are watching uncle i hope the angel of death will not visit all of us that are watching you know <laughs> i think i should unwatch the ones i've unwatched <laughs> so let me take some of the comments someone says who go call tell the housemates now abio because they can't hear the pastor what he's saying who will tell them ah, hmm. has, there has to be an informant that will go there and tell them one after the other ah, ah. Something is happening outside, you better come out. Another person says, hope it won't affect the viewers. So <laughs> ask your boyfriend. <laughs> you hear, right? Me too, I'm asking. I hope it won't affect those of us who are viewing. Another one says, now family problems wake you up. No be the Lord, or God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> At this point, I think I need to take a drink. Hmm. Pastor, this is not alcohol, though, so that's uh, it's a soft drink, something very soft, so that revelation will not come on my head that I'm drinking illicit drink. <laughs> okay, let me still take some uh, some more comments. Someone says, "God never tell you the solution of Nigerian problems since 1960." Okay, God, sit down. Remember, some time back, I came and announced to us that. Alex Ikubo has finally proposed to his longtime girlfriend who lives in the United States, Fancy Acholono. And then suddenly I'm now hearing rumors that Amis breakup rumors, actor Alex Ikubo's fiance, Fancy Acholono, unfollows him, reportedly deletes their joint IG page. I hope it's rumor because me, uh -uh, that was a perfect union. And but then again, they have told you guys times and times again. Social media, do not bring your relationship to social media. Okay, so let me take some of the comments. Someone says, if it's going to happen at all, let it happen now. Ex-boyfriend is better than ex-wife. Oh. Another one says, never bring your relationship online. Okay. Another one says, oh no, I pray this isn't true. I pray so too, because they look so good together. You know, but it would be nice though. Somehow, somehow, sure. some people will be happy. But I know it's rumors, you know. I'm just saying. Someone say marriage will well, never start and I don't they break up. Because I just hope this deletes not to keep on a relationship private. I hope so too. I hope it's just so that everything on social media is out. So people can, you know, pay attention to other things and leave them in peace. So, you know, last week a whole lot happened from Saturday. Saturday, President Muhammad Ubari's son got wedded. And same Saturday again, the Iwer Kingdom in worry got a new king <laughs> so it's official after several controversies surrounding the ancestral monarchy of iwere kingdom of worry land his royal majesty okay uh, don't mind me if i murder the name king please pardon me okay tishala emiko atua said the third ascends the throne of the Iwere kingdom at the age of 37 years. Mm, and he's hot. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that about the king, right? Your majesty, the king, may you live long. 
So he now sang, you know, he was asked to present, you know, a speech. He started by singing praises to God. Yes, it was so touching. And he has a very beautiful wife, in case you're wondering. He has a very, very beautiful wife. Let's even hear the king sing. I don't want to take any other stories. So that's the much you can take on today's Stalking Trends on Oxford TV. You know how we do it. Subscribe, watch, share, like, leave us a comment. Tell us how we're doing. If we're not doing good, tell us. If we're doing better, tell us. If we're improving, tell us. If we're not, tell us so that we can do even better. You know, it's Friday. What can possibly go wrong today? You can't get fired on a Friday. You can get fired on Monday. But this Friday, I'm telling you, I'm authorizing you and take a drink. So I am Kiruka Ibe. Until we come your way again next week, it's bye for now and cheers to Friday. <laughs>